Welcome to Tesla Global the home of the latest Tesla news. Today we take a look at the 4680 battery, new Tesla fleet and also the new generation of home chargers. Let's get into the video. Tesla 4680 cell production grows roots in Giga Texas. Materials for Tesla's 4680 cell were recently delivered to Gigafactory Texas, hinting that the EV maker may already be preparing to start test production of its custom batteries for next year. In drone operator Jeff Roberts' recent video, two truckloads of battery production equipment entered the storage area of Tesla Giga Texas. The boxes were labeled Cathode Line 1 and Anode Line 1. Roberts observed that the Anode Line 1 boxes were later driven toward the battery cell production area of the facility. He believes that Tesla has started installing the equipment for the 4680 cell production line at Giga Texas. During the Q2 2021 earnings call, Elon Musk shared that Tesla was expecting massive equipment to arrive for high-volume cell production in Austin and Berlin. Robert's video suggests that the equipment has finally arrived at Giga Texas. Similar boxes or shipments may be delivered to Giga Berlin soon, too. Meantime, we have a massive amount of equipment on order and arriving for the high-volume cell production in Austin and Berlin. But obviously, given what we've learned with the pilot plant, which is in Fremont, which is really quite a big plant by most standards, we will have to modify a bunch of that equipment. So it won't be able to start immediately, Musk said. Andrew Bellino, Tesla's vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, added that the company would install equipment capable of producing 100 gigawatt hours worth of cells. He estimated that Tesla could achieve its 100 gigawatt hours goal by the end of 2022. For perspective, Giga Nevada is currently producing about 40 gigawatt hours per year. Tesla's 4680 pilot line at Cato Road near the Fremont factory seems to be progressing rather well. At the end of September, the company started a hiring ramp for the 4680 pilot line. The hiring ramp suggested that Tesla found a potential solution for the calendaring issue Elon Musk briefly discussed at the Q2 earnings call. Last month, Tesla's longtime battery partner Panasonic presented the 4680 lithium-ion cells it would be producing for Tesla. Panasonic's reveal also suggested that Tesla was ready to enter the next stage in 4680 cell production. During the Q3 2021 earnings call, Bolino estimated that Tesla might start testing vehicles equipped with 4680 cells as early as next year. Tesla aims to produce Model Y vehicles with structural battery packs and 4680 cells once Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are operational. Fresh fleet of Tesla Model S and Model X refresh units sited in Fremont factory. Recent footage of the Fremont factory has revealed what appears to be freshly produced units of Tesla Model S and Model X at the company's electric vehicle production facility in California. A quick skim through a recent Fremont factory video shows that Tesla is as busy as ever. The footage revealed a fleet of Model S and Model X refresh units parked in several locations across the Fremont factory complex, from the facility's test track area to some of its parking lots. As the video traveled through Tesla Fremont factory, several car carriers can be seen going in and out of the facility, filled to the brim with vehicles. The busy facility and parked Tesla vehicles in various places hint at the company's growth over the years, which CEO Elon Musk teased at the 2021 shareholders meeting. According to Musk, Tesla has nearly outgrown the Fremont factory. We're just hitting the sides of the bowl, you know. I mean, if you go to our Fremont factory, it is jammed. It's like whoa, Musk commented. He described Tesla's first experience with Fremont factory as a kid in his parents' shoes. However, the company has grown into those shoes now and is even outgrowing them. Tesla still plans to increase Fremont's output by 50%, but Giga Texas will be the company's headquarters moving forward. November marks another month in Q4 2021, giving Tesla two more months to deliver as many units as it can before the year ends. As of the third quarter, Tesla has sold a total of 627,350 units in 2021 so far. The company has already surpassed its total 2020 numbers, which were already record-setting in their own right. Giga Shanghai has started ramping production even more. The latest video of Tesla China's factory revealed parking lots filled to the brim with vehicles and ready for delivery. Both Fremont and Giga Shanghai seem prepared to dominate Q4 2021, ending the year off stronger than ever for Tesla. Tesla's new home charger aligns with its all-F supercharging pilot program. Tesla has added a new home wall charger for electric vehicles, and it is not exclusive to Tesla. 
The new J1772 Gen 2 wall connector from Tesla now is compatible with any electric vehicle, aligning with the company's recent decision to launch a supercharging pilot program in Europe that offers EV charging capabilities to any electric car on the market. Yesterday, Tesla confirmed that it would launch a pilot program in the Netherlands that would open its supercharging infrastructure to any third-party electric vehicle maker. A development that has been in the works for some time, European electric vehicle owners in the Netherlands flock to Tesla superchargers all across the region to test out their new capabilities. Mustang Mach-S from Ford, Hyundai Ioniq EVs, and other all-electric vehicles made their way to Tesla superchargers for the first time, as the automaker launched the convenient new way to charge EVs. Coincidentally, Tesla has now launched a home charger for EVs that is compatible with any electric vehicle on the market. The Gen 2 wall connector costs $415, and will supply up to 40 amps or 9.6 kilowatts of output for a single electric vehicle. Tesla writes, charge your electric vehicle at home with the J1772 Gen 2 wall connector, a convenient home charging solution for electric vehicle owners. Simply plug in overnight and charge while you sleep. Providing up to 9.6 kilowatts, 40 amp, power output for a single vehicle, the J1772 Gen 2 wall connector includes a 24-foot, 7.3-meter, cable length, multiple power settings and a versatile indoor-slash-outdoor design. For Tesla vehicle owners, we recommend a wall connector for the most seamless home charging experience. The J1772 Gen 2 wall connector requires an adapter for Tesla vehicles. The Gen 2 wall connector also qualifies for a 30% federal tax credit incentive, providing an extra boost of economic advantage for customers. Tesla seems to be embracing an expansion of the automotive sector, and building and producing new products that cater to the needs of all owners globally. Instead of only offering products to its customers, Tesla can take advantage of its reputation as the leader in EVs to produce more accessories that will help owners have a more pleasurable ownership experience. SpaceX wins Skynet launch contract SpaceX has won a contract to launch Skynet on a Falcon 9 rocket in 2025. Instead of a self-aware, apocalyptic AI, though, Skynet refers to the United Kingdom's planned Skynet 6A spacecraft, part of a family of military communications satellites that far predate their science fiction namesake. It will be the 15th such satellite launched since 1969 when Falcon 9 carries it to a geostationary transfer orbit as early as 2025, beginning a $700 million transition to a new network architecture with upgraded ground systems and a different satellite contractor. Formerly built by a combination of British Aerospace, Marconi Space, and EADS, Astrium from 1974 to 2012, the UK selected Airbus Space to build Skynet 6A. While technically a new contractor for the program, Airbus Defence and Space was founded in 2014 by reorganizing European Aeronautic Defence and Space AADS, to combine Airbus Defence, Astrium, and Cassidian into one entity. The UK awarded the production contract in mid-2020 and Airbus began manufacturing Skynet 6A in October 2021. While several major milestones are still to come, Airbus says the satellite remains on track to launch out of Cape Canaveral, Florida on a Falcon 9 rocket in 2025. At launch, Skynet 6A should weigh around 5,000 plus slash 1,000 kilograms, 11,000 plus slash 2,000 pounds, leaving plenty of margin for Falcon 9 to place the satellite into a full tilde 300 kilometers by 35,900 kilometers, 200 times 22,300 miles, geostationary transfer orbit. Skynet 6A will then use built-in propulsion to circularize into geostationary orbit, where it's expected to operate into the 2040s. Do you think that the 4680 battery will be able to change the game for Tesla or will it be a fail? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.